What up guys, Gus from Purple, back with another video. Hope you guys enjoyed today, we'll be talking about the Kranzel and AR Blue Killer. Yeah, stay tuned, you guys won't want to miss this one. What up guys, Gus from Purple, hope you guys are having a good day. Today we'll be talking about my pressure washer setup, we're here on site. Just knocked out a few cars, got them covered, or whatever the case, so stay tuned. Let's talk about it. So here on site, clean the M6, the razor, just finished cleaning the two dirt bikes, getting those things ready as well as a golf cart, etc. These the rolls, Ferrari, S65, SVR, Range Rovers, whatever, those we knock out during the day. But today you guys aren't here for those. Today we're here to talk about my pressure washer. Now a lot of you guys in the comments were asking about it. Um, it is a can pump pressure washer. Um, why I think it's a killer for the Kranzel and the AR is because it's a 1500 PSI unit at 2.2 gallons per minute. And I'm gravity fed. My pipes come out of there, go straight into the machine gravity fed, no pump, no anything like that. And I get those numbers, pretty crazy. So let me bring you guys in. Number one, don't mind the mess. I'm in the middle of a work day, as you guys can see. But anyways, so I run the Predator 3500 that I inverted and, well, removed, rewired, and got it to start here so I don't have to keep pulling it back and forth. Back in the day, we didn't have the generator slide outs, guys. So if you're inclined like I am, you can do that stuff. Anyways, so my tank sits over there on the floor, not lifted, not anything. Um, in the past, they used to have the unit up here. It would suck it over the pressure washer height, or the, the gallon. So the gallon goes over here, the water tank, I should say. And it was over that line. It had no problem sucking that up. Besides the point. Anyway, so this is it right here, guys. It is a beast of a unit. It's about the size of the Predator. Big, big 2.2 2 .2 gallon per minute pump. And I believe, I think it's, yeah, it's a two horsepower unit back here. Why is that important? Having a two, ga uh, two horsepower unit and it running at half speed or a quarter speed puts less wear and tear on the unit as, small as, as opposed to a smaller motor working harder at a higher RPM, if that makes sense. So, literally, that's it right there. It is a beast. Been running it for a while. Um, I get those numbers, I test it all the time or whatever, dial it in, I get those numbers. Everything is, on, I'm running it on shore power right now because I'm indoors, but everything is on quick connects, except for this. This I have the quick connect at home, I just need to replace it. But yeah, it's a beast of unit. Bring you guys in a little bit more. That's it right there. Now more important, let's go wet some things so you guys can see. I also power it on and off through here. I could also remove it and take it because it does not have total stop. I'm not a fan of total stop. It's just one more thing for it to go bad. I'm not a fan of total stop, but I have no issues. And also, total stop, you press it, you have to wait, it has the whining. This, there's none of that. You press instant water, never had an issue. So let's start winding some things so you guys can see. So, hope you guys can hear me just fine. I'm gonna power it on. Doesn't have a crazy noise or anything like that. That's it on. That's it off. Like I said, instant power. You push it and it it's strong. Literally there's kickback. Like so it's a strong unit. Very strong. Pump can. Bring you guys in. So, having an ounce of product, right? You can see how watery it is. Having an ounce of product, also the MGJC is a beast unit, but we'll get into that in another video. But having a, a at one ounce and a lot of pressure and stuff like that and a lot of gallons per minute it foams up really nice 
also I tend to save a lot of product guys a lot of water when I'm spraying it clearing up it's not runny or anything like that it's awesome so I personally think it is an amazing unit there's a really big benefit too as to why I think it is. So, I'll get into that. So, how do I know it's better than the AR, the Kranzel? I've had them. I had a main issue with the AR and the Kranzel with my generator. So the generator wasn't able to keep up with the, the, the power, the wattage, whatever the case of the pressure washer so I kept cutting whatever the case I'm mobile so I need to run off of this now surprisingly with this like I said the two horsepower motor and running at a lower rpm guys with all my equipment on my compressor my uh, whatever vacuum whatever the case this is still on so there's barely a draw on this machine I think I have a 3.0 or 3.5 orifice, so there's barely a draw. I think that's the more important part because this it doesn't it doesn't draw that much power. It doesn't really get hot or anything like that either. Ran it in the summer, ran it in the cold, whatever the case. All you gotta do is change the oil, guys. Maintain your machines. Um, that's something important. So this is that same solution I just showed you guys at the floor over there with an ounce of product. Good stuff. Saving money as well as giving you good foam. You can see it's pulling out the dirt, etc. So it's good stuff guys. It really is. Love this pressure washer. Love working with it. It's been awesome. Good stuff. something to your attention so right now my compressors on you can hear it and now pressure washers on all you hear is the ramp up from the generator no loss of pressure no loss of pressure you don't even hear it kick on what's louder is the actual gun itself then the, the pressure washer as soon as the the as soon as the the compressor dials down i'll show you guys the sound on it you barely hear it barely hear it just finished blow drying the car and i just gotta catch the minor water drops but anyways so the noise level this is the noise level from outside from the side of the van what you hear kick on what you hear kick on is the generator not the actual pressure washer and then this is it from in front whoops and this is it from in front ready so come over here so you guys can hear me so it literally is super whisper quiet the only thing is um, that you hear is the actual generator ramping up to, to produce the power but I can run my air compressor, which is on this side, I'll show you guys. I can run my air compressor, no problem, while blow drying the car with a leaf blower. No problem, no problems, guys. I'm telling you, this unit here, this thing is a beast. Don't sleep on it. And you know what the best part is about this pressure washer? The best part about this pressure washer that I have is the price. Guys, I think I got it. You can get it from the can pump, can pump website for six something 
and on Amazon for 700 I want to say. I'll put the, 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 the link over here, or I'll show you a picture of it here. Um, so those are the prices, not bad. Instead of paying 1300 whatever the case for Kranzel, this is more powerful. <laughs> this is a no-brainer. So I've had this thing for years. Guys, it's on right now. I'm cleaning the car. I'm literally doing the interior now, as you can see. Doing the interior. I'm gonna have to keep turning it off. I know it is it doesn't it doesn't have total stop. So it's it's running. You know what I mean? Heating up, whatever the case. I've been doing just last year uh, with this unit alone was 1,200 cars that we've done. Um, washes, details, etc. Right? Engine bays, whatever. So that's a lot of usage on it. A lot of uh, hours that it just kicked on. Literally, it just I just leave it on. I do shut it off. I do have the button or whatever. So when I'm doing an interior for long or whatever, cool. But when I'm doing like this, I'm doing a maintenance. I come here weekly um, to this. Uh, business place or whatever so with that I leave it on for about an hour 30 minutes 40 minutes whatever the case while I wash a little after I wash sometimes I need to go back and and spray the wheels or I miss a spot or whatever so I want to just hit it with with water so it's a beast it literally is industrial I had a part go out on it um, it was like a part of the quick connect they sent me the whole assembly for free next day I didn't even expect it to 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 be next day you know what I mean so it literally came the next day I replaced it. it was super easy came with instructions I called them up they were super simple easy to work with I think they're a Canadian company I'm here on the East Coast in Jersey and two days or same day I, I talked to them or whatever the next day in the afternoon it was here nuts crazy crazy but like I said I stand by that company can pump because they you, you can see how much they care you know what I mean um, don't fall into this trap of Kranzel this, AR this, because so-and-so detailer is doing this, so-and-so detailer is doing this. Purple is using can pump. Guys, whatever works for you. This is just my experience. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions, got to knock out this car, finish it up, the autobiography. But um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll answer them. If you guys want to see something more in depth, I'll make another video. Just comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah guys stay tuned for more videos you guys have a lot of questions I have a lot of answers been doing this for a long time um, mobile as well as at a shop but let's learn from each other let me know in the, in the comments below purple out